what's up you guys and welcome back to my channel i am qb i know i have been gone for a while but your girl is back okay and she is coming back ready okay we are ready for the new year but before that we're gonna get into this christmas look okay so i just had to come on here and give you guys this really beautiful glam this is a holiday soft beat glam um i really hope you guys enjoy this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and let me know what y'all think about this look um i really didn't know what i wanted to do going into this look but this is what I came up with. This is like a nice red, cool, soft beat, you know, um, just something random, something cute for the holidays. Let's get right into this video. Right, okay. So I really don't know what look I really want to do today, but we're just going to have to make it work. Do y'all see my skin now? Yeah, the bun is definitely doing it for me. So, um... Since I will be doing eyeshadow today, I'm going to be starting with my eyebrows. Normally, I start with like foundation and concealer and then the whole nine. I hate that I'm looking up there. I'm so used to it, but like I'm going to start learning to look directly at the camera so I could like actually look like I'm speaking to people. So for my brows lately, I have been using my e.l.f. Um, brow pencil. I got this from I think CVS and I usually use like a brow pro made. But I've been loving pencils lately. Like, I feel like pencils really just make it look more natural. This color is called Neutral Brown. So I usually just outline my brows. It's so hard to talk when, like, I'm doing my eyebrows. But I'm going to try to talk. you see how it still makes my eyebrows look so natural you know and not like so boxy like compared to this like it's filled in but it's also really natural looking that's what you want that's what you want your brows to look like basically Do y'all see these brows though? Like, come on, look at how nicely carved out they are. Anyways, so after I'm done with that, I just basically go in with like a little buffer brush to basically buff out and just drag out this concealer. So I'm going to be using my Morphe palette and this is in the color 350. So this is 350 and I'm going to be using, what color am I going to use? I'm not going to swipe, I'm going to just pack. And then also I do like a lot of color payoff when it comes to my eyeshadows. This is really orange. We're just gonna have to go with the flow because <laughs> y'all can't even really see how orange it is. Like, oh my gosh, I don't know if it's my lighting or what it is. Let me see. If I adjust that a little bit. Okay, that looks better. So, yeah, y'all can't really see how orange it is, but it's pretty orange. Like, yeah, it's pretty orange. So I'm gonna be going in with this red color and this is the 35B um, palette. I really like this brush. But once it's on my crease like that, I can go back in now with that orange um, brush that I had earlier and just kind of brush out the edges of this color just to blend it out a little bit more. I'm going to be taking this color right here and I'm just going to go a little bit more into my crease with this color. Um... Actually, no, I'm going to be going a little bit above my crease with this color um, just to give it like a little smoked out look. Yeah, we also want some definition to this eye look. So even though it's a soft look, we just got to, you know, add some of that in there. So I'm just taking that color. I always do this to get some of that, you know, color off because I don't want it to be too um, like dusty. So and I just want it to be soft. So I'm just going ahead and I'm packing that on the top of 
my crease. So not directly on top, but like a little bit above. When it comes to soft looks, this color right here, it's the bomb, baby. This color right here, that's the one. Yeah, my lashes are really long, so I try not to, like, look up while doing them because they will get on, like, the eyeshadow and mess it up. So, I just kind of, like, squint my eyes and just do them like this. So, today for lashes, y'all already know I be wearing my own lashes. Um, if you don't know already, I do have my own lash collection. It is called QB Collections. Um, well, that's my cosmetic cos collection, but I do sell lashes as well. This is my lash box, and this is how it looks. I'm using my Juvia's Place foundation, and I am in the color or in the shade Angola. I like this foundation because it has more of a velvety finish. Like it finishes like not extremely matte, but like velvety, if that makes sense. So now I'm gonna be going ahead and using my Juvia's Place concealer. And this is in the shade 10. I just need to brighten up my eyes. So like right here. And I try not to bring my concealer way too down, you know. I like to keep it where it's going to be blended so it could just stay there and just work on lifting up my face rather than like, you know, just getting the concealer everywhere. Juvia's Place, see I'm just using all Juvia's Place products at this point, but I'm going to be taking my Juvia's Place, um, well this is actually a foundation stick, um, whatchamacallit, but I use it as a contour because they have all types of different shades and I'm just like, you can really pretty much use foundation, concealer, all of that interchangeably, like, it's, this, it's not just one thing for one thing, like you can use foundation for concealer, you can use concealer for foundation, as long as you have the right shade going, you can pretty much use anything you want to use so I like to use this as a little contour and um, just to basically I hate when my hair gets in my makeup but just to basically give my face you know some type of definition and um, you know structure This is how you get that Barbie doll look. This is how you get that soft matte look in the same spot. I'm not dragging it down here. I'm not dragging it up here. I'm gonna use this brush and I'm basically going up with my contour um, with this brush. Just tap like that and you should be good, okay? So y'all can see the difference between this and this. This is how your makeup should be looking at all times. This is how you get that soft look. I'm gonna set with my setting powder. Um, this powder is like one of my favorites because it's a yellow, it has a yellow undertone. I mean, what am I saying? It's a yellow base powder and I have a yellow undertone so it just works better for me. So what I like to do is just dust it off and then go right under my eyes and just set that concealer.
and I really love this color color for contour as you can see I've used it a lot um, so I like this color until I find the perfect bronzing contour shade for my skin I'm gonna forever use this eyeshadow because it just works and I'm just going in and putting that to set my conceit my contour that I put Sasha buttercup powder like that's really my holy girl like that's one thing when they say um what's one thing you can't live without in terms of makeup it's my sasha buttercup setting powder like i can't use any other powder it'll just make me look ashy or like too light and i'm a dark girl i need something for my skin tone that's gonna make me look real chocolatey and you know And if y'all want me to do like a, um, what's it called? Like an updated highlight tutorial, like highlight and contour and really go in depth on details on how you can get your skin to look like this and your, your um, makeup to look like this, y'all should definitely let me know in the comments below because I will do a video like that. Because um, I really do get a lot of compliments on my skin and how I get my foundation to look like this and everything. And, just my skin makeup in general is what gets like the most attraction. I'm going to be going in with my Maybelline Fit Me um, press powder. And this is in the color Mocha 360. I'm just taking that on some foundation buffer brush. And I'm swiping away this powder. And I'm doing this in like, in like a really scattered motion. Because it just helps to blend out um, the contour as well. Just make everything soft. Like the trick to really blending out and making sure everything is soft is just really in a in a circular motion. Like never swipe that way. Don't do anything this way. It's better to just do it in a circular motion so you can really get that nice finish. So my favorite setting spray so far up to date is gonna be the Morphe setting spray. And this is the continuous mist. This is the LA Girl Ultimate Intense Stay Auto Liner. And this is in the color, this is in the color GP327 Lasting Brow. I don't know if that's the color or if that's the name, I'm confused. But, let me see. Yeah, I guess that's the color, but yeah, basically. I'll put everything down in the description below anyway, so y'all don't have to worry about that. But I've really been really liking this, um, lip liner lately so yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and just line my lips right now i'm gonna take down my hair and see what's up i'm not really gonna do much to my hair to be honest it got little waves in it, but you know, for the most part, I'm really feeling this look. This look is really, really pretty. It's something calm to just wear, you know. We still gonna be quarantined this Christmas anyways, so it's not like we really gonna pop out anywhere special. But you know, if you wanna just look cute for your living room anyways, definitely try this look. Let me know what y'all think. Um, and let me know, like if y'all post it on any social media, like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, whatever, definitely tag me at IMQB. Um, and if you don't have me on social media by now, girl, you tripping. Like, cause I be posting all the time and I'm always active and always engaging my, with my followers. So definitely, definitely go ahead and add me on all my social medias to keep up with me. And um, yeah, let me know what you guys think about this look in the comments below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and share with your friends. And I will see you guys in my next video. Love you guys. Bye.